Hi, if you're watching this, then you're doing the same thing I'm doing. Not studying for exams. If you want to know why I'm not studying for them, then watch this video, because I'm going to talk about everything I hate about exams. The first thing would have to be the area. I mean, if we wrote our exams in our classrooms, I would have no problem doing them. But in my school, we jam everybody into the gymnasium. We're all there, like rats piled on top of each other. No one can move, no one can breathe, no one can blink without everybody staring at you. If you drop your pen, they'll look at you. If you nudge your desk, they'll look at you. If you turn your page, they will look at you. If your body works like mine, as soon as you hear the word exam, you're going to lose function of every operating organ in your body. It causes this chain reaction. I got the head cold, I got the stomach flu, I got gonorrhea. I'm walking into exams with gonorrhea and a cold and an upset stomach and I sit down and all you can hear is me and, <coughs> and the noise that my stomach makes that I cannot recreate and every single person looks at me. The teacher comes over because he thinks I'm trying to communicate because that's how loud my stomach noise is. I don't know what to say. I wasn't passing answers, I just need to vomit. Don't worry, I wasn't cheating, I just have explosive diarrhea. So I end up covering up every noise my stomach makes with a cough. And if that wasn't bad enough, that morning I was in such a rush I had to chug my orange juice. So I got the hiccups. In the middle of the exam, I'm hiccuping, and I'm coughing, and I'm sneezing, and my stomach's grumbling. I'm surprised an ambulance didn't show up because it looked like I was having a seizure. It's not only the area that bothers me, it's also the teachers. We all walk into the gym in an orderly file, one by one, awaiting our pending doom while the teachers maniacally laugh at us and, and, and whack their hands with their rulers like they're trying to recreate the Holocaust and I'm not okay with it. I'm sitting at my desk and there's teachers walking behind me and I'm, I'm, I'm afraid they're gonna haul out a bat and just whap me. And by bat, I mean their penis. And you know they're all against you because they give you that look that's like, <laughs> yep, you're, you're, you're fine. Even the way they talk make you want to cry. We have this one girl in front of the gym that makes all the announcements, and instead of telling us that, okay, you can begin now, or, all right, children, time to start, no, she needs to go all Darth Vader on our asses and say, you may begin. The fuck? The third thing is the time limit. I mean, we've been in school for seven months. We've had about 10 tests in every subject, and they've all been an hour long, but for some reason, you cram in everything we've learned into a two hour time period. We're all going to fail. So we had like an hour and a half, two hours to write uh, probably 13 long answer questions, an essay, multiple choice, and I ran out of time. I answered all my questions with either yes, no, or maybe. Explain how the juxtaposition in this visual was an effective emphasis on the courage portrayed by the characters. Maybe. Describe how the point of view highlighted the emphatic properties in this poem. Yes. What is your name? No. I wrote an entire essay without a single period. <sighs> I'm screwed. Oh, thanks for watching my little rant. Um, I could keep going, but I think I think I should go study now.